Okay, so this is a, it says 12 bar, but it's an 11 bar rated auto presser testing machine from Calypso. <laughs> Scary outlet. So I've pressured it up to 11 bar. This is a 200 meter diving watch, it's an SKX. 007 um, to get equipment which is going to take up to 20 bar is very expensive this is quite expensive as it was as it is uh, being um, an Italian made uh, professional wet pressure tester um, I wanted to just show everybody what a fail test looks like so I've pressured it up in air, which puts pressurized air into the case if there is a problem with one of the seals or there's a problem with the case. Now, I've stuck some 3M tape on the back of this case back for now. Um, and I just wanted to show everybody and I'll explain why I've shut, put the 3M tape on um, what a fail looks like so there's pressurized air in the case it's now immersed into water and I will release the presser using this valve here at the top now you'll hear a hissing And that is a fail. And it's not coming out of the seal as I thought it would. It's actually coming out of the machined uh, recess for opening the case back. which is my first real pressure test fail. Just let a little bit more air out. And you can see a stream of bubbles. Accessing the case. Ooh. And I'm going to put it back into the air before the pressure reads zero. And put it back into that. And no water should have got into this case, even though there's a stream of pressurized air coming out of the case. But I always tend to do it with outer movement in, in the first instance. So I just don't want to ruin a movement for no reason. I hope that was interesting to some people. It was interesting to me.